Now in this next part, we're given the position vector of the point D as being minus 1, 1, 4. And you can see I've just added it to the diagram. You can put D anywhere you like, but we are asked in this question to show that the angle BAD equals 109 degrees. So I have put it in a position that does tend to give us an angle of about 109 degrees. So let's just mark this part of the diagram in, okay? So we're looking for angle BAD then. We've got to show that it is 109 degrees to the nearest degree. So I'm going to call it theta at the moment. Now you should be familiar with how we find the angle between two vectors. We use the scalar product, or some people call it the dot product. And we use it in this formula. Cos theta is equal to two vectors dotted together. And it's very important that the vectors that we dot together, when we're trying to find an angle like this, come away from the uh, angle. So in other words, we need this vector, a to d, and we need the vector a to b. If you don't do that, you're going to get what we call the exterior angle. If you have one going one way and another going in the opposite direction, you're going to get the exterior angle here. So when you ask questions like this, it is so important to make sure that your vectors come away from the point. Okay, so cos theta equals what is called AD dotted with the vector A to B. It doesn't matter whether you do AB dotted with AD, the other way around still gives you the same result. But it must be, as I say, these direction vectors must come away from your point A. And we divide this by the magnitude of the vector AD and the magnitude of the vector AB. So we need to do some work prior to using this. We need to find out this vector first of all, A to D. So we'll come down here. How are we going to get the vector A to D? Well this is a standard result. It's going to be the origin, 0, or O I should say, O to the last letter, O to D, minus O to the first letter. Standard result, do try and learn it. You're going to need it all the time. You can check it out. A to D is the same as going down here, minus O to A, in other words, followed by O to D. And that's that result there. So we just need to subtract our vectors. So we've got O to D, minus 1, 1, 4. O to A, 2, minus 1, 5. So if we subtract them, we've got minus 1, minus 2, so that's going to be minus 3. And then we've got 1, minus, minus 1, so that's 2. And then 4, minus the 5, which is minus 1. So there's our vector A to D. What else do we need? Well, we need the magnitude of our vectors, okay? We need the magnitude of the vector A to D. And if you're trying to find magnitudes of vectors, okay, all we need to do is do the sum of the squares of the components and then root them. So you can, you can drop off the negatives, it doesn't matter. So for the magnitude of A to D, it is 3 squared plus 2 squared plus 1 squared. And if you work that out, that comes to the root of 14. Let's just put it here, root 14. Okay, so we've got AB. AB we found out in the very first part of the question, which was the vector 3i plus 3j plus 5k. So we can work out its magnitude. So we'll come up here, okay? We'll work out the magnitude of the vector A to B. And again, all we need to do is do the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. So it would be 3 squared plus 3 squared plus 5 squared. And if we do that, that comes out at the root of 43. Okay, so we've got root 43. 
Now if we put the vector AD up here, we'll just add it to the diagram, we've got minus 3 and then 2 minus 1, so 2 and minus 1. So cos theta equals AD dotted with AB. Now to dot two vectors together, what we do is we just multiply then the I components together, add it to the J components multiply together and then add it to the K components multiply together. In other words, we've got minus 3 times 3, so just show the working, minus 3 times 3 plus and then 2 times 3 and finally plus minus 1 times 5. And all of this is divided then by the magnitude of the two vectors AD and AB. And we've got those magnitudes here then, root 14 and root 43. So root 14 there multiplied by the square root of 43. Now if you work this out on the top, you've got minus 9 plus 6 minus 5, and that comes to minus 8. So we've got minus 8 then, all divided by the square root of 14 and 43. You could even in fact put roots, just do the one root, root of 14 times 43. That's up to you. You'll get exactly the same answer. Now when you work this out, you'll find that it comes to minus 0 0.326, 5 and so on. So to get theta, we just need to work out what the inverse cos of this is going to be inverse cos of minus 0 0.326.05 and so on. Okay, when you do it, you find you get 109.029 and so on, which, when rounded to the nearest degree, is going to be 109 degrees to the nearest degree, and that's what we had to show. Okay, put nearest degree there. So I hope that's given you an idea then how we can go about that part of the problem.